Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an update on my spring project Use It Up. And just a reminder, this does end on June 1st. I think I'm actually going to do like a few weeks in between starting up my summer project. Um, I have not decided yet. But I think I want to do like two weeks of like giving myself time to just like use whatever I want and not like be restricted to the project use it up items. Um, but this is an update to the spring one. This will be, I think, the last update. Yeah, this will be the last update before the finale. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I finished up since last month or since the last update. I will link that up above so you can see um, kind of what, what I was working with last time. But I'm just going to go ahead and get started because I have a lot of empties to show you guys and I'm actually really, really excited. So I have actually two hand soaps that I finished. I finished off Hip Hop Hooray Sprinkled Donut last month. So good. Uh, didn't really last that long, but it was like a really good scent. Just nice and sweet. Really cute for Easter time when I had it out. Um, and raspberry tangerine. This one was so yummy. I will definitely be looking for um, this in like any version, but this scent hand soap during SAS, I need to do a hand soap restock because I'll get into it later, but I'm running very, very low. <laughs> and then I finished off two shower gels. I finished off Santa's blueberry shortbread from 2019 Christmas. Really good, but kind of artificial blueberry. Um, I didn't mind it too much, but I don't think I would look for it again if it did come out again. It was nice while it lasted, but I couldn't really get over the artificial scent. Um, and then I also finished off Vanilla Mocha Cafe from the fall of last year. Really sad to see it go, but it's gone. <laughs> it's it's fine. It's fine. Um, and here's like the progress lines for that one. It took me quite a little bit to finish it up, and then I just like went ham on it this month. Um, and then this is Santa's Blueberry Shortbread. Here's the update lines. Um, really only had a little bit. I finished this off like a week or two into last month. And then I also have a mini shower gel in Pretty as a Peach. And this was really, really yummy. I would consider getting it again in a mini, probably not in a full size. Um, it took me about this long to finish it off. There's the progress lines started at pretty much unused down to here, down to here. But it was really good and refreshing. Definitely would get it again in a mini. And then I have a full-size body lotion in Vanilla Mocha Cafe that I finished. Um, this took me a little bit. Some of these progress lines are actually from the fall. I think I put it in right here in the spring one month. And then in the last month, I just decided to finish it up. And then the last empty that I have is Sweet Bunny Berry um, Happy Easter Hand Lotion. I didn't really like this. It smelled like jelly beans. I liked it for the first like two weeks and then I got kind of sick of it. So probably won't get it again and I won't look forward to this, I guess. But it was like nice, it was cute while Easter was happening, but like I just kind of got sick of it really quickly, so. Okay, updates on everything that I've been using. So the first thing that's pretty low, I'm actually probably gonna finish it before the next update, is Twinkling Nights in the body lotion. I have it actually tipped upside down so you can see there's only about this much left. Last month we were right here, a little more than halfway. Um, and so I'm probably right about here right now. Um, I guess that's where I'll mark it, but really like this will probably last me another week and I'll be done with it. So, um, not gonna last very long. I did actually really like this. My mom, she like, she thinks this is too strong, but I actually really love it, especially for like, if I'm going to wear it during the day, I think it smells really nice and, um, like womanly, womanly. Um, it's Frosted Jasmine Petals, Whip Vanilla, and Mandarin Blossom. This is the first kind of lotion, body lotion that I've had from uh, Bath & Body Works that is actually kind of feminine and has a floral fragrance to it without it being overwhelming. And so I've been really, really enjoying it. That's why it's pretty much almost used up. So that's that. And then the other lotion I've been working on is Pink Velvet Cupcake. You can tell it's pretty much almost gone. Um, the progress for this, uh, we started at 7.3 ounces, went to 5 ounces, and now we're at 2.8 ounces. It'll probably be finished by the next update. Very exciting stuff. So I'm actually going to put in a few lotions right now. I'm going to put in Bonfire Bash. This is from last, um, last fall. I got this for the first time. It comes back every single fall, um, but this is the first time I've ever tried it. I liked it, but I wasn't obsessed. There was a lot more fall fragrances that I was focusing on, 
last year and so I noticed that they had brought it back out uh, or that it's coming out again for this summer as a summer scent so I actually really wanted to start using it and you can tell it's a little bit yellow let me show you it compared to the white twinkling nights body lotion yeah you can tell it's a little bit yellow um, that's just because it has a vanilla base it's vanilla bourbon creamy sandalwood cashmere musk it's a really good sweet scent mmm it smells super yummy it makes me feel kind of cozy too so i feel like i'll have a really fun time using this i was just not really focused on it last fall but i do want to get it used up since it is turning a little yellow not necessarily that it smells any different though so that's good before it turns though i do want to go ahead and use it and then a mini body cream that i'm actually going to put in just in case i finish up pink velvet cupcake or if i want something kind of summery i have tiki bay island margarita from last year the notes on this are sweet mandarin island mango and sea salt i did measure it we're starting at 2.2 ounces i got this last year during summer sas and i brought it with me on vacation i used a little bit of it and then i just kind of like forgot about it so i was planning on keeping this till vacation but i'm kind of concerned that it's going to turn so i'm just going to go ahead and use it it smells really good it smells exactly like the the notes say and yeah it smells like a really nice summery scent so if, if i'm feeling like tropical uh i'm gonna go ahead and go for this one and yeah that's it for adding in new lotions for hand lotion i'm still working on warm vanilla sugar i actually have this on my bedside table um it's about halfway used right now and yeah i pretty much use it every single night when i get into bed i am gonna put in a new hand cream because i have one at my work now that i finished sweet bunny berry i am gonna put in the first aid beauty ultra pear cream in mango um i actually got this last year to try and help my eczema on my face and on my body and it didn't really do much for me for those areas um so i like kind of left it in my work bag and never touched it um but i have i smelled it i think last week or so and it started to smell like it was uh, turning bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and finish it up on my hands. It actually has been really nice. I've been using it for a week at work already and I enjoy it. It's not a bad scent. I probably wouldn't get it again because it's a little expensive, um, more so than getting like these hand creams at SAS or something. So yeah, just gonna try and finish it up so that way it doesn't go bad on me. For shower gels, I actually have no more left in my collection. So um, to replace, these three i'm gonna put in three new ones so i have a few scents that i've been dying to try so the first one is this mini in sunshine mimosa i got this for uh with a free coupon in stores and i don't have the notes on the back of here but i have used it already a little bit so i marked it before i put it on my shower two days ago um and i've been using solely this in the shower for the past couple of days and it really does smell like kind of orange creamsicle with a little bit of floral to it. I actually really am enjoying it. And then I'm also gonna put in Pink Velvet Cupcake since I already have the um, body cream and the body spray in. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead. Oh, I already marked it, look at me. Uh, we're at the very top, unused. I got this last fall. Like I said, with the Bonfire Bash, I was really focused on other products in the fall, so I didn't get to this. But it's definitely like a spring summer scent in my opinion. It's uh, sparkling red berries, whipped pink marshmallow, and sugar praline. Smells so delicious. I love berry scents, and this is like an effervescent berry. It's so yummy. So very excited to start using that in the shower. And then the last thing that I have, I actually picked up with a reward, and that is strawberry pound cake in the moisturizing body wash. It is huge. Um, this is actually the first time I'll be trying the just plain moisturizing body wash formula. I had the confetti moisturizing body wash last winter in Winter Candy Apple, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm excited to try this formula without the confetti in there, so it's not as messy, hopefully. And strawberry pound cake smells so good. I've been kind of missing it. Like, I almost want to pick up some minis in strawberry pound cake at SAS. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to do that because it smells so good, and I've been loving it in the candle. So yeah, I think I'm going to pick up some uh, minis of it at SAS, but for now, this will hold me over on my strawberry pound cake fix in the shower. So that's starting out completely unused. I think I measured it at like 13 ounces um, so far. That's just because of the packaging as well. Okay, moving on to fine fragrance mists. I do have one that I'm going to just kind of retire and put back in my collection, and that's Vanilla Bean Noel. I put it in last month just to try and get some use out of it. I was really craving Vanilla Bean Noel, so I gave into the craving and I put it in the project, and I haven't been craving it since. So I used it really heavily for about two or three weeks 
um, only at nighttime and I made a little bit of progress on it so I'm not mad about it I really was enjoying it so for that I'm grateful and I'm gonna go ahead and just put it back in the collection to use later um, to replace it though I am gonna be putting in with vanilla chiffon I recently picked this up um, online during I think it was during the Easter sale actually and I haven't really used it that much since so I really want to get a feel on on how I feel about this um, fragrance so I'm gonna go ahead and mark it it's pretty much unused um, a little bit less than full so we're starting out right up here and yeah we'll just see I'm just kind of curious if I enjoy it if I really love it or if I kind of just like it or maybe I don't like it I don't know I think I like it already um, but I want to know if I like am in love with it um, so yeah just gonna try and put this in and just see see what happens um, for the other two that I had in, I had Almond Blossom in. I've still been loving this. I'm wearing this today, actually. Um, I really like it for weekends because it's, like, actually a fragrance that lasts on your skin. Um, whereas if I'm at work, I, like, leave my, the other one, Pink Velvet Sugar, at my desk and I just spray it as I want to. But this one really lasts. So if you're going to go out, definitely recommend this one. And, like, not bring something with you to refresh later in the day. This one will last really long. Um, but here's my progress. Not very much, but more than the past couple of months which is good i've really loved this it smells super good but like i said i really only wear it on the weekends so i haven't been getting too much use out of it but i still enjoy it and then pink velvet cupcake i got a ton of use out of because i literally just left it at my desk and don't be mad at me but i just like scratched off the packaging with a uh, scissors um so i could see inside the packaging and actually see my progress so that's what it looks like i know it looks horrible but you can't tell from the front okay um but here's where i was last month and now we're down to here so we're right about on this label of the packaging which is almost halfway not quite but yeah i've been loving this oh it smells so good i'm really excited to have all three of them now in use even though this is like almost done but i'm i'm loving it so much i really hope they come out with it again this fall it's come out the past two falls so i really hope they bring it out again because i'm going to restock but yeah i've been loving it and i really think that i could probably use it up um maybe throughout the summer if i continued this progress like maybe two and a half more months and i could finish it up so that's really good in my opinion um and if i'm enjoying it then even better so Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so that's it for Fine Fragrance Mist. And last, we're gonna move on to hand soaps. So the ones that I finished off, remember these two, I'm going to replace them with two more. And these are actually my last two summer soaps. I have um, a Vanilla Be Noel and a um, Toasted Vanilla Chai in like Thanksgiving packaging left in my collection. And I don't really wanna use those since they're kind of winter and fall scents. So these are the last of my summer scents. Um, we're gonna put in Boardwalk Vanilla Cone, which I actually already put in because I used up, uh, I think it was Raspberry Tangerine like the first week into the month. So I already put this in. And um, as you can see, I started it out at the very top. You can't really tell, but I did mark it right up here. So we're gonna mark it. We are right here right now, about halfway. This is in the bathroom downstairs and we go through uh, hand soap downstairs super fast. And Boardwalk Vanilla Cone smells so good. It is marshmallow fluff, vanilla bean, and creamy caramel. Right down my alley. I love any sort of bakery scent. I just think it smells really, really yummy and really could be used any time of year, but I like that it's meant for summer or whatever, so it looks nice, but it really just smells sweet. And then we have watermelon lemonade. I don't actually have a spot for this yet, but I assume that this one will get finished up pretty quickly. Uh, so I'll probably be replacing it with watermelon lemonade. And this is actually from, I want to say I got this at Winter SAS actually. Um, and it's pretty much unused. We did open it like by accident, but yeah, it's, it's a good scent. It's definitely a staple for summer. Just super tart, super sweet. Um, watermelon ice, sparkling water, and Meyer lemon. It smells exactly like that. So I'll be excited to have this, but I do need to think about buying some more at Summer SAS. And then the two that I'm still working on in the project are Fresh Lemonade, which is at our kitchen sink. I love lemonade scents for the kitchen sink. Um, we got a little bit of progress on this. I'll go ahead and mark it. So we were right here and now we're down to here. 
a little bit of progress, not too much. I think I'm the only one who really uses this at the kitchen sink. My mom just uses the dish soap and so does my dad. So I'm pretty much the only one using this, but yeah, it's still, I'm really enjoying it. It's lemon juice, lime twist, and sugar crystals. It's like literally perfect for at the kitchen sink because you're getting like all those smells off your hands. And then in my bathroom upstairs, I have toasted vanilla chai. This is whipped vanilla, sponge sugar, and winter spice. If you guys know me, you know that I love this scent. But I have to say, I am not enjoying the gentle gel formula, at least in this one, because the other two, the other, yeah, actually all the other ones that I'm putting in are all gentle gel, but I kind of enjoy it in these couple of ones. But in toasted vanilla chai, I feel like it's not lathering as much as I want it to. I don't know, um, but here's my progress. We started up here almost unused and then down maybe a little bit less than halfway, but um, it's it's definitely one of my favorite scents, but it does not last in this formula. And I don't like the lather on this. I wish it would actually lather like the foaming ones do. So yeah, it's kind of disappointing, but it is my favorite scent, so I am enjoying it and I'm happy about it. But yeah, let me know down below some of your favorite hand soaps so that I can put them on my wish list for SAS. I definitely think I'm only going to be getting them if they're 75% off though. So, or like the $3 and under ones. So yeah, that's my plans, but that's everything for the spring update. Um, hoping I can finish off a few more things before we end the project in June. I'll probably post my video either the last day in May or the first day in June. And yeah, hoping to get through, let me just go ahead and share with you what I want to finish. Pink Velvet Cupcake, Twinkling Nights. I probably wanna finish one of these two hand lotions um, and the mini shower gel. Um, maybe if I'm good, I can finish off this, but probably not. And that's probably it that I'll be able to finish. Maybe the hand soap. Um, but yeah, hoping to get rid of some of those lotions because I really need to like downsize my collection and hoping to go through some minis so I can buy minis at SAS. Um, but yeah, that's everything for my update. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!